In this video, we will see how various organization levels such as company codes, plans, sales organizations, sales areas, controlling area, etc. are linked with each other in the SAP system. These organization levels are defining these organization levels as part of uh, the customization, customization of SAP system. And as you know, the customization can is done using the transaction code SPRO. So let us go and execute the transaction code SPRO, which will take us to the SAP uh, reference IMG screen. Uh, so click on the SAP reference IMG button. And the enterprise structure, um, that is the different elements of an enterprise of a company are defined uh, under the node enterprise structure. So click on the enterprise structure node and you'll see an option on tree node called definition. That is where you they define uh, the different elements of the organization, such as company codes, plans, uh, sales organizations, etc. Now, when you look at the under definition, you'll have areas listed by the, uh, the functions, like for example, all the elements needed by in financial accounting side area and finance area would be listed under the financial accounting uh, node. Similarly, if you look at the sales and distribution uh, node, you'll see the org levels or the elements related to the sales and distribution area. Same, same thing if you go to logistics, you'll see the logistical elements within that tree. So if you look at the financial accounting area, this is the area where you define just, uh, the company and uh, and the company related company codes within the company. And if you see, you have different uh, other uh, elements also like business area, functional area under the financial accounting uh, node. Now, if you click on edit and check company code, this is the place if you want, to, you need to click if you want to create a company code in the SAP system. So let's click on, double click on copy generate company, check company code. And we are not gonna change any data, but uh, we can click on it. If you want to create a company code, for example, if you want to edit an existing information about of an existing company code, you can click on the edit company code data uh, option there. Oops, there's something wrong with the option then. Let's click on the edit company code data and see what happens. So you can see the, uh, the company codes that are defined in the system listed in this uh, table. Now, the company code information is stored in the table T001. So if that is T, Double zero one. That is the table in which the company codes are listed. So let us go back and uh, let's check this out because that's there's something wrong. Maybe because this is of the layout. That's fine. So let's go back, cancel it, and let us go and check uh, how this different organization levels are related to one another. So for example, in the under the logistics general, you'll find that you can define the plant. So
So similarly, depending on what modules have been implemented in the in the location in your implementation, the functional people will define the relevant uh, organizational units in the uh, in in the enterprise. Now, if you look at plant, now the plant information is stored in the table T zero zero one W. So, but this video is your, in this video you're going to see how the link uh, how a plant is uh, which plant is related to which company code or which sales organization is limited to um, the company code or the sales area that kind of information so let's go to the assignment part so we what we saw so far is the definition let us go to the assignment part this is where you link each element, each uh, element of the enterprise with one another. For example, if you look at the financial accounting, uh, if you want to see how, which profit center is related to which company code, this would be the option to go to. So if you go to logistics general, here you can find which plant is linked with which company code. So let us go and check this one. Assign plan to company code. Now, if you look here in the columns, you have the company codes listed on the left in, in this column. And the name of the plant is listed here. So which means, for example, say 006 to 006 plant uh, company code is linked with DC01 plant, or rather I should say the plant DC01 is associated with the company code 0006. But 0006 company code has other plants too. So if you look at all this records, they all belong to the same company code, but you have different plants under the company code. So similarly, if you go back, so if you want to assign, let's go back there. So if you want to assign a new plan to the existing company code, you can click on new entries and define the combination of assignment. Similarly, if you go to sales, uh, for example, if you want to see which this business area is linked with which plant, so you can click uh, use this option. So if you want to find out which business area or division is linked with the company code, there is no direct link between a division or a evaluation path or a business area with the company code. So you'll have to first figure out which division, for example, is linked with which plant, and then take that information of plant and then find out the company code. So similarly, if you go to sales organization, if you click on this option, you'll find out which sales organization is linked with which company code. So you have the sales organizations here and you have the company codes here. So looking at this, these records, you can understand which sales organization is linked with which company code. Uh, another example is distribution channel, for example. Distribution channel again is not directly linked with the company code or a plant. So you first have to, looking at this, in this option, you can find out which distribution channel, channel is linked with which sales organization. And taking that sales organization information, you can come here and find out uh, this distribution channel belongs to which company code. Now, this, uh, this probably sometimes becomes, you know, have gathering this information on your own uh, is sometimes may be important for uh, people who are working in the security area, for example, because when they want, they have to build roles and in the roles, they maintain the organization levels. So gathering, knowing how to gather this information on their own would probably save some time and help in building better security uh, for the uh, meeting the business processes. So, but the actual configuration of these company codes or linking of this comp different 
elements of the enterprise such as plan to company codes or sales organization to company code or division to sales organization all this assignment of one element with another element is done by the functional team as part of their configuration uh, process uh, people like uh, people from security team for example can only make use of this assignments only when they are configured when while building the roles so this is where in and img under enterprise structure under assignment you can find the links or the of uh, between different organization levels in the sap system 